Hello, I'm Jimmy Seek, chef of the exclusive restaurant Aptieka. Today, I'll cook chicken tikka masala in the Redmond multi cooker with a Master Chief function. Master Chief provides me with the same freedom for cooking as my professional kitchen. To make chicken tikka masala, we'll need the chicken fillet. We'll chop it up and let it marinate. Firstly, chop up the chicken. You can cut it into cubes. Add the ginger garlic paste, red paprika and salt to make the marinade and let it soak. Now let's make a yogurt marinade. Add the spices into the yogurt. Red paprika. Garam masala. Coriander. Tandoori masala. Fenugreek. Greek. Mustard oil. And salt to taste. Mix all the ingredients. Add the marinade into the chicken and properly stir. The yogurt marinade is ready. Put it in the fridge for 45 minutes. The multi cooker is ready to be used. Close the lid and set the slow cook program. While the oil is heating, cut the vegetables, onion, chili peppers, ginger and garlic. All the vegetables are ready. Now we'll check whether the oil is heated or not. It's perfect. Put the cumin into the bowl. Stir. Then add the cinnamon sticks and cardamom. Then add the onion. Stir and close the lid. Using the Master Chief function, set the temperature to 165 degrees Celsius. Five minutes later, add the chili pepper, ginger and garlic. You can add the chili pepper to taste, depending on how spicy you want to make your meal. Add salt to accelerate the cooking process and fry for five more minutes. Now we'll add spices. Also add the tomato puree. Tomatoes in their own juice. And cashews. Close the lid and using the Master Chief function, reduce the temperature. Five minutes have passed and the sauce is almost ready. We put that aside for the Redmond blender. Turn the blender on. Blend thoroughly until the sauce is smooth. If the sauce is too thick, you can add some cream. We'll use the blender some more and we'll continue cooking the chicken. It's already marinated. 
Pour some oil into the bowl. Set the fry program. Put the chicken into the heated oil and set the temperature to 170 degrees Celsius to make the crust as in the tandoori. While frying the chicken, again stir the sauce using the blender. And add the ready sauce to the chicken. Stir all the ingredients. Add the cream for a richer flavor. Close the lid and change the temperature. 90 degrees is enough. Stew for 2 to 3 minutes. Your chicken tikka masala is ready. Put it onto a plate and decorate with a chopped cilantro. Now we can save the cooking process to the multi-cooker memory. I like the Redmond multi-cooker very much. I think you'll enjoy cooking even the most complicated meals in this wonderful multi-cooker as well. Goodbye, Redmond. All the world's cuisines in your home.